according to St. John chapter 17 verse 19 and for their sakes I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the second Bible reading was taken from the gospel according to St. John chapter 14 verse 27 peace I live with you my peace I give unto you not as the world giveth give I unto you let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Peace in the name of our Lord. Our golden text is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 5 verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Peace in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And 
Flash and fighting 
right from seeking or looking for money and the things of this world. When once you involve yourself in any of these worldly cares, peace has gone away from you and you will know no peace. And um, I was sick with a few problems. 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 And God does not please with any of you. God is not begging you at all because God lacks no person, lacks no children. as only just a question of prophecy, just a question of God. The Father showing you said, look, this is the way. If you follow this way, you have this. It's just a matter of bring you to this uh, knowledge and information, and that's all. I tell you openly that from your behavior and ways of doing things, it appears as if you do not know, you don't understand the calling where you are called. <laughs> Because, because if you were to know yourself and if you were to know your calling, what would have brought quarreling amongst you? What would have brought fighting amongst you? What would have brought struggling for position or office and trying to be this or that amongst you? Whereas these things are indeed, those things are to share it with the people of the world. Any child of this kingdom, as a matter of fact, any person who knows his own calling, is to share himself completely from the loss and affections of this world, from the worldly glory, and in so dissociating yourself from the affairs of this world, you will then have the peace and become a real child of God. <laughs> That is why our Lord Jesus Christ put it in the parable that it is another person who planted and you have only been told to go and harvest what another man had planted. You who go to harvest and the one who planted, you are therefore one and what is bad in any of the case. Our Lord Jesus Christ, it is who planted. Our Lord Jesus Christ planted, and He, out of sheer grace, has us that we need you should go and harvest what He Himself had planted, so that you and even the Christ Himself who planted might be one. Come 
Right now, the Holy Spirit has come. We need him, sir. And there's no righteous person. There's no one who even thinks or has any plan to being righteous. And the Holy Spirit has come even in the face of this recalcitrance of man. He has come with his salvation to give salvation free of charge, gratis to human beings. And no one is even prepared to receive this salvation from the Holy Spirit. Rather than you receiving this salvation that the Holy Spirit has brought free of charge to you, here people going about grumbling of all the problems and sufferings I have suffered for this or that. So I've just mentioned one suffering which you have undergone because of this kingdom. This is the act of Noah. This is the new act of Noah. And any person whose river gains admission into this act of salvation who will receive every freedom and every provision for his life. There is food, there is heart, there is life, there is everything in this new act of Noah. And rather than you coming into this act of Noah, you just go out and snatch somebody's wife. And in the consequence, the husband will just come and get one of your eyes blocked out of blinded. And you'll come to tell stories, oh, somebody has blinded you because of this kingdom. Is this true? Okay, maybe I'm a we have got to deceive somebody to cue somebody and deceive and get some amount of money from a person by dubious means and you were caught in that uh, uh, vice. In the consequence, one of your legs will cut off and you just come back with an amputated leg, one leg down, and say, oh, your leg, you have lost a leg because of this kingdom. Is it true? What can the boy say? The bubble from food. I didn't say my own Man, my person going to purchase a part, in fact, to struggle over a parcel of land so that he would acquire that parcel of land and put up his own personal building. And while it gets to scramble for this parcel of land, he is warned by his opponents that if he dares get into that parcel of land, uh, his head will fall down. And in defense of this threat, he still goes on to take possession of that parcel of land. And in consequence, one of his hands is cut off while trying to acquire a land, possibly for his own personal use. And he'll come to tell lies, say, oh, because of brotherhood, because of this kingdom, I have lost one of my hands. Is it brotherhood that had ever told you to go and buy land for yourself? I'm 
is your ambition whensoever you turn your eye and you see another person seated on the seat you had eyed upon you become uh, you become annoyed take offense and begin to query ah, ah, who has brought this man to sit on the seat which I had thought I'd be sitting down and because of this you set him into causing confusion and trouble fighting and so on such ambition is uh, theft by so doing you are a thief by so doing you are a confusionist and this is not what you are calling here for the worldly confusionists all those who came in here with any uh, stealing um, uh, incentive should find a way out The Father, even our Lord Jesus Christ, I said, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in me, believe in no. God, believe. Yes, believe in God. Believe in God, believe me in me also. For in my Father's house there are many mansions. I go and prepare a place for you. And after I come and take you so that you'll be where I am. Then what is bad there? What is wrong there? Is somebody preparing a place and only coming to take you to be with him?
claims and so on, raising up your shoulder and looking, becoming ambitious to be this or be that. Take the instance of our brethren, the Aetonites, those who actually started the father at Aeton, and when Sirevay comes to the end of the August Pentecostal, the father in one way or the other will bring them up. And this has made them to feel so proud to see themselves as if they are just above, above where Sirevay they are, they will become so proud and will even feel that they deserve that every amount of money made should be sent to them. But this is just a sheer incentive of the Father, not that there is anything they had done that could be written home about, not that they were repentant in any way, not that they had practiced anything that is worth of this kingdom. But out of sheer grace of God, the Father brought them into this kingdom at that stage. But they now would claim that they had been this and been that and would go on even to tell people of how they had suffered. They would go on even to claim of what and what they have suffered for this kingdom. When in fact this goes on to quite trouble the hearts of many because when many other persons in this kingdom would see them with such arrogance, with such pomposity and such claims, many people had had trouble and many people would have wished that they had been at Eton Street to maybe claim as they are also claiming. And so you see, the ideal thing is that when any person is called into this kingdom, it's a question of coming here and be at peace and then be a real child of God because you all are children of God, children of God. But then you could only be that by being at peace with all men. But you find that when sorry about the father, just by mere, by, by mere innovation, would just call you this or that, you begin to claim and put up your shoulder. If it makes you a prophet now or a pastor, you will feel that it is because of your righteousness. Or you will feel that because, because you are more worthy than any other person that you've been not. Ordained. And you find that some ordained one would even go to the extent of putting on their turban on the shoulder, dragging it about and even telling people, look, why don't you repent so that the Father can also make you an ordained one? Change your mind, repent now and be holy as I am so that you can get a, as if any one of them had been ordained because they are worthy or so. Whereas in fact, some of them, somebody is stealing and committing as all three, but the father makes him a pastor, some of them is stealing, committing adultery, even killing, the father makes such a one a, a, a prophet and so on. So the real truth is that we are all called into this kingdom to be at peace with one and each other so that we could be the children of God, which is the highest post and the highest calling in this kingdom. If I'm a Christ student natural, ko <laughs> One of the anthems. I'm 
servant, they were treated into the same with that sort of rudeness. I eventually, the honor of the farmer to say his own son, thinking that, well, as his son, son, his own husband, they will respect him. But that became even the worse because as soon as I arrived, the husband man said, oh, this now is going to be the hire of this farm. If we can kill him, then we shall, the farm will be our own now. So they did not spare even his son of the owner of the farm. And you know the story, what will happen at the end of it all. So this is exactly the situation with you now, that you all are eyeing to think that uh, you would, everybody thinks that he should be the one owning, the one controlling. It is because of this, your ambition, this your ulterior motive or satanic intrigues that makes you to go and begin to question, ah, what of when the leader will not be again? Who will take over from him? Oh, it is you who will take over from the leader. The leader will not be again. It is you who will be. Some people will continue to question, ah, who is the deputy to the leader, who is the assistant and so on? It is you. Rather, you are born in here in this kingdom to be at peace with all men. That is the only mission. That is the only assignment given to you. Come in here and forsake all manners of sin and be peaceable with all men so that you could be a child of God to inherit this kingdom and stay until eternity rather than you coming to abide and comply with this your calling what you come in here, you come in here to become ambitious, to think of how you can sit and rule over others, to come in here and see you would want to be masters and commanders and so on. And you forget the only mission that you are called, be peaceable with all men and be a child of God. First lesson be read. The first Bible lesson came from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 17, verse 19. And for their sake I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have heard the reading because this I sanctify myself so that this also would be sanctified through the truth. And if all become sanctified, then the sheep of the flock will be one and they shall be one sheep in one flock. and so on. 
But when you come in here and claim that you started brotherhood and so on, what has that got to do? You are not calling here to claim this or that. But you are just calling to be at peace and commonize everything. Everything you have should be in common. And you should just see yourself as equal with one and another. And therefore love, it is only love alone that should prevail amongst you. There should be no question of one claiming this or claiming that. What of all the, those people you know who have been claiming to be this or that? Now, according to them, they have left brotherhood. How has that affected brotherhood? Or do you think right now, if it happens that all of you are saying parking, you think brotherhood be affected in any way? Just the very moment you are saying parking, as others would stream into this kingdom. Therefore, you find that your claim on counterclaims has just no effect at all in this kingdom. Therefore, the only thing that is meaningful and for which you are called is for you to come in here and be peaceable with all men and have the love toward one another. King of Christ, a candidate. A candidate. Just me, why the Messiah?
you have seen Brotherhood of the Curtain Star, you have seen the owner, the landlord, and you have seen everything for sure that this has come to be the eternal kingdom and the eternal throne of God himself. And nothing shakes it, it shall live forever. And Brotherhood of the Curtain Star has brought to you love, it has brought peace, has brought righteousness, has brought joy, and if if, just, if according to you there's nothing else, if there's even nothing else you can boast of to have derived from brotherhood, at least you should be able to get the peace which brotherhood has brought, and his peace is eternal one. the week. 
will of my father, same is my mother, is my father, is my sister, is my brother. This is brotherhood of the cousin star. Anyone who's river practices the word of God is a brother and a sister.
perfectly holy, that anyone who still wants to be filthy or sinful should in fact be, do everything to be uh, sinful. That's how it should be. And so this is the kingdom of God. This kingdom you are called to be peacemakers. That is the, your own calling. That by making peace, we are at peace with every person. You might be a child of God and be full partakers of this kingdom. Loud and the young of we do
undergo or lose anything for the sake of peace. And so to this extent, therefore, the um, governor himself is so much amazed and so thrilled to see what no man would ever thought of, that he had even taken a sort of undertaking that anything, anything brotherhood would hold, any function brotherhood would hold, he should be invited that he would surely attain and honor every invitation from brotherhood. The commissioner of police is not left proud, being so thrilled by this wonderful peace, uh, peace of brotherhood, he has also promised to make himself available at all the callings of the brotherhood of the Crescent Star. And so this is exactly what you are calling here to do. Peace and peace and that's all. Second lesson on the red. I'm 
And the father has not said anything, has not asked them for reform, has not taken anybody to court, and so on. This is because of things. At every cost, make sure that you are peaceable with all men. For instance, you find that you're coming down here and making and sitting down here and make a noise and being disorderly in your ways here. If I was not watching, if I was not so mindful uh, of peace, I would have seen you people parking and so on. But because peace is pro, pro, uh, paramount, I'm very mindful of it. Because of this, I have to endure everything because of this peace. And now come to think of it. You, who come in here to cause confusion and make trouble and become noisy in your ways here, and I, who would not uh, maybe send you packing or be annoyed by your disorderly behavior, who is a peacemaker between us now? What is a word past word or good word? What is a salutation? A good word is peace, peace, peace at all times. And where is that peace you have been piecing out? Not even one of them knows 
looked out, his uh, foot came in and so on. Two thieves struggling. You see this one carrying a person and scooping some ration home. Another thief on the other hand would just carry some person scooping some ration home. You see two thieves, one thief carrying the spoons and the plate of fish down home. Another thief over there will carry his spoon and plate. So that every place, every child, you find that two thieves are always struggling for something, not even knowing how those things have been brought up. <laughs> in this world have you seen this sort of grace, this sort of benevolence that every day food is being served to the people every day you find that people are given food mention even the government have they been able to do this, mention any person, any place, any group of personal institution that has done this <laughs> Now look at this uh, magnificent guest houses put up in here and people who just come in, they are given accommodation free, they have their other amenities, water, food, other things free, fun, electrical appliances and so on, laundry and every other services are given free of charge. Mention in the whole world any other place where this sort of benevolence is ever received. Shall I be able to get free in government quota? Yeah, I can mention. I can number it so lavishly. Mention any other place, whether government quarters or any other place in the whole of the circular arrangement where every amenity is thrown open lavishly to every person. Look at the water supply here, it's open to people 24 hours, people come from outside and every person has the deep liberty, the freedom to fish as much water. Not only fishing it judiciously, some will just come in, open the pipe and the water will run down, will just waste the water and so on anywhere. The same things are applicable to uh, electric light, electricity supply. Every person uses electricity supply lavishly here. Throughout the night, 24 hours, and you open these many gadgets that are open at the same time, and nobody will go on, so please, uh, please uh, put up this, put out this one for now because of electricity bill. Find that nobody has any restriction. Everything is thrown open lavishly to every person here. Mention any other place in the whole world.